Want to feel like an artist with your UIs? Learning about graphics layers in Compose can make those moments of delight even easier. Graphics layers can be thought of as if we were creating a paper collage with multiple different pieces of paper that we place on top of one another, where some pieces contain a few different elements, such as image and text, and some others just contain a color. With this mental model in mind, a graphics layer is an isolated collection of rendering commands, which can be cached when the parent layer is modified. A graphics layer contains additional properties that impact how it is rendered. This includes transformations, translation, rotation, and scale. Rendering properties such as alpha, blending, color filter, and render effects. We've seen in the shader episode that we can apply a render effect to a composable using the graphics layer modifier but we can do many other things with graphics layers too. From the basics, such as changing the scale X and scale Y, translation X and translation Y, or rotation values. The graphics layer modifier is great for these cases and can get you a long way with animations and transformations. However, it does not provide much more control over where this layer is rendered in terms of the visual hierarchy nor does it provide the ability to render this layer elsewhere. For example, if we wanted to render the layer off screen. It's also not that easy to extract the contents of the graphics layer into a bitmap to be shared externally. In Compose 1.7 and above, there is now a way to create explicit graphics layers to allow for controlling your layers manually. Think of it as if each of these pieces of paper from the collage are separate objects now. With this new mechanism, I can determine how these are put together again. So to create a graphics layer, we use the remember graphics layer method. This returns a graphics layer object that can then be passed around to different draw functions. Now we have the separate layer of control. What exactly can we do with it? We first ensure that the drawing is redirected to drawing in the graphics layer by using the record function to capture the content in the graphics layer, and then call draw content which draws the contents of the composable into the graphics layer. Then we call draw layer to draw this graphics layer into the current surface. We can use this graphics layer to separately render the content into an off-screen bitmap if we wanted to save this bitmap to the device. Graphics layer has a function called toImageBitmap, which can be used to get a render of the contents on screen to share or save to device. But graphics layer tricks can also be used to create effects when compositing layers together. In this example, we've created a pager that has the text breaking news composable on top of the pager content. This looks OK, but it's the headline image of our app, and the images cycle between different imagery over time. We'd like it to stand out a little bit more. Keeping in mind our new learnings of graphics layers, we create a new blend mode modifier by extracting the logic into a reusable modifier. This firstly calls a helper method called obtain graphics layer. This creates a graphics layer object, or reuses a recycled layer, which is similar to remember graphics layer. However, obtain graphics layer can be accessed within a draw with cache modifier, whereas remember graphics layer is accessed within a composable. We can then call record and set a blend mode on the layer. We then draw the layer calling draw layer in on draw with content. We can then use this modifier on the text composable whereby we call the newly created modifier blend mode in this case, we chose to use the blend mode difference. What this does is it subtracts the bottom layer from the top layer, or the other way around, to always get a non-negative value. In this case, when we blend with the white color, we are actually just getting the inverted color of the picture at that point, so it will always contrast. There are plenty of different blend modes to choose from to achieve many different fun UI effects or in some cases, just super practical effects, such as removing parts of a layer. Our header image and text is looking interesting, but we'd love for it to be a little bit more moody. We can apply a similar concept to the background pager by creating a modifier that applies a grayscale filter to all the content inside the pager. We create a color filter modifier and set the color filter on the graphics layer. We then apply the color filter to the horizontal pager composable by creating a color filter dot color matrix that has a saturation of zero. This will completely desaturate everything inside the pager composable, 
and the text layer will apply the blend mode difference on top of the page of content. So compositing these two layers together, we have an interesting moody effect that changes as the content is scrolled behind it. And that's it for compositing graphics layers. For more information, check out the linked documentation. Bye for now. Thank you.